right, we have another pretty cool morning. It's about 50 degrees, 49 or 50. Monday, Monday, Monday. We're gonna freeze our hands and see how fast we can make it here. Everybody's gonna stop. We're on Walnut Avenue in the city of Orange. And we have to do a brief stop here. I'm running pretty late. Today will be a uh, standard standard route once again. I'm still uh, being pressed up on the situation uh, by a situation at work. So uh, I'm actually working on that <coughs> as I ride. More than likely, I'll just be taking uh, I'll be taking uh, main in Santa Ana. Or through Santa Ana. Check out the fountain real quick. 
from downtown Orange. So we're now on uh, Glacelle Street. So I saw a post that they put uh, water in the fountain, so... <clears throat> Let's go in front of this car here. On uh, Wednesday this week, there's supposed to be... Uh... Oh, I see a lot of water on the ground here. So on Wednesday, there's supposed to be... Uh... I don't know what it's called when you... Uh reinstate something like a fountain but no, I don't see any water in there it must have all leaked out so nothing exciting but maybe they found a leak or two all right let's go uh, let's head up uh, Glacelle the alarm off at the bike shop. Yeah, those, uh, that bike shop does not mess around. Man, I mentioned it in a video a couple weeks ago. I was in there one time with my signs and, uh, they caught some guy stealing and uh, one of the guys that I assume was the owner, like we were outside of the store, like by the front door and he grabbed this guy by the back of his neck and like pushed him through the doors out of the store and basically like, you know, just shoved him into the parking lot and was, very, uh, Great. But needless to say, that guy will not be back in that store uh, trying to steal stuff. Like, I don't know how... Like, it's a bike... You know, it's a bike store, so obviously they have a bunch of accessories and stuff like that, but I don't know how. There's like probably like in that little store, there's probably like six workers in there at a time. You know, they've got like a couple people at the counter, uh, a couple people working on bikes, and a couple people on the floor. And it's, you can see it's not a very big store. Like this guy. How he thought he could get away with something like that, it's just crazy.
think these people these days don't expect anybody to uh, to react like that, you know. They think it's like uh, like Home Depot, where you can just like walk out with stuff or. Yeah, I still haven't put my new tires on yet. <laughs> so we had just, uh, I forgot to say, we just turned on to, that was Levita that we turned on to when I made that right. And we took Levita to, uh, this is Main Street. I think this right here is just us getting into Santa Ana. I don't know exactly where the the line is. I think Levita might be the line uh, that separates Orange from uh, Santa Ana. is burning down on the path. San Diego Creek bike path. We just passed. Now going over the five freeway.
guy's got an e-bike. Oh, it's a motorized bike. Probably going 30 miles an hour on the sidewalk. <laughs> God, I wish you guys could see him. Let's catch up to him. next to me on the other side of the sidewalk. I'm going 27 right now. So that thing probably goes, I mean, probably goes pretty fast. I would say at least 35. He was going probably 30 on the sidewalk. <clears throat> but it was out of control. Coast Theater if nobody's sleeping here.
All right. That's like one of those situations where you're like, man, I hope this guy doesn't crash. You know? Like, every time he would go down into the, uh, to the hips, like, he would get all, wow. <laughs> that was so cool. You tell he was, uh, he had like clothes on like a mechanic, you know? So he's probably on his way to work. He's probably been building that bad boy at work. So I did read, I know it's probably obvious to most people, uh, cause most people who ride e-bikes probably read about their local laws or whatever, but I just never bothered to cause I'm probably not gonna obey them anyway. Not because uh, I'm a rebel, but because I'm going to do what I think is safe for me or what I feel comfortable doing. And, uh, but yeah, so e-bikes, yeah, are definitely not supposed to be ridden on the sidewalk, which I think most people knew. Even if you're, uh, even if there's not a bike lane and uh, you're expected to be in the street, you know, going with traffic. Um, and cars, cars are supposed to give you uh, three foot three foot of space when they pass you, right? And then I think if it's a single lane road, I think if, it's, if you're on a single lane road, I don't know if you can be in a sidewalk, but on a single lane road, they say, uh, I thought it said something about, you know, not being in the street, if there's only one lane. But uh, that part I'm a little, little foggy on. I'm, I'm not really too sure. <sighs> but I think every, uh, you know, every place that you ride, I think it's like... You can't have like a, a set of laws for each specific type of area because every area is unique, you know.
Yeah, I almost got, uh, I almost got, uh, oh, here comes the mask rider. Uh, almost got ran over, uh, on, uh, on, uh, Friday on my way home. I was, uh, oh my gosh, let's go look at these taggings real quick. We're getting sidetracked here. I'm sure it's Delhi. Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Just a second. Um, I'll tell the story in a minute. We own. Ooh, they crossed out. They crossed out in Delhi. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I was riding on uh, Tustin Avenue from uh, Santa Ana, and uh, I uh, I was on the sidewalk going against traffic, and uh, a, you know a lady was pulling out of a restaurant. And uh, I saw her, so I, bra I put on my brakes, kind of slid a little, because my, you know, not a lot, just a little. And I did a little maneuver, you know, probably like 10 feet in front of her car. And yeah, man, she laid on her horn, she was so mad. And uh, so I stopped, you know. She was yelling at me. Uh, it just scared her, you know. And uh, she was yelling at me and saying that I was going in the wrong direction. And, um, you know, these bikes don't belong, like, belong on the sidewalk. I mean, if I was on a bicycle, I think I was going in the right direction. But I wasn't. I was on an e-bike, so. But there's so many, like, that's what's going on right now, right? It's like everybody's getting ran over because they're just riding like crazy people. Yeah, she, uh... She even, uh... Gave me the middle finger. But I wasn't mad at her. I wasn't mad about the situation. I thought it was kind of funny. I thought it was funny slash eye opening. Like in a car, you have to be a defensive rider. You gotta always assume that these people don't see you. And you can even go as far as to thinking these people are trying to run you over. And I think that helps a little bit. 
I was telling some guy at work about me riding uh, my bike to work. This guy actually works up in, uh, he's from here, but he moved up to, to uh, Sacramento and works out of Sacramento. And pretty cool guy, uh, old punk rocker guy. And uh, I was telling him about, you know, me been, I've been riding my bike to work for the last seven months, eight months. <laughs> He tells me, he's like, yeah, man, he's like, there's a statistic that for people that ride bikes, that, uh, you know, pretty much say within like 10, like if you ride for 10 years, like you're going to be, you know, in a bike slash automobile are a bike versus automobile crash. Uh, I was like, oh, thanks, man. But, uh, I know I've heard that about motorcycles. But he said there's a uh, website. I haven't looked it up, but, uh, website where you uh, you can look at all the uh, accidents involving bikes and uh, cars and it tells you like the probability of you getting smoked in that specific area right so if you ride right here, there's a, you know, there's been, you know, 20 crashes right here on Sunflower and uh, Main Street or something like that here. You know? So I'm going to have to check that out. I can imagine that they having a database like that, that was like uh, in like Los Angeles or Sacramento, San Francisco, probably like San Diego. But I don't know. I don't know if they keep track of that stuff. have a blinker a little late for the blinker I think it's time for that reflective vest.
I think I'm gonna have to uh, adjust my derailleur or however you say. are turning. So I think after this God, they keep coming and coming. All right, well, we're almost there. We almost survived. Monday. Thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you on the streets of Orange County.